It's a shameful sight that dots the landscape of urban America. The abandoned, deteriorating buildings that the government once used to house people. This one is in Indianapolis, caught in the middle of the downtown renewal boom. But Lockfield Gardens, to the dismay of many, will not be renewed. The city's first government housing project is at the edge of the growing IUPUI campus and the IU Medical School complex. 748 units, as some feel could be refurbished relatively cheaply, are giving way to the demolition crews. A 1980 city plan calls for at least 175 of the units to be renovated, and a local group opposing the demolition of Lockfield Gardens recently refurbished a unit to show how it could appear. But the city of Indianapolis was not interested in saving the entire project. The university must have its world-class research center, and all the buildings that support that research center must be in this space. So Lockfield Gardens must go. Glory June is a member of a group that has fought to save the project. That group has drawn a cartoon calling Mayor William Hudnut a million-dollar vandal, referring to the million dollars of federal money used for demolition. She says developers who wanted to refurbish the whole project don't think saving just seven buildings that will remain standing would be economically feasible. That makes her think the whole project is doomed. Immediately, they have no plans to tear these down. That's true. However, as I stated, they were supposed to have the plans in place for renovation before any demolition took place. It will be very easy after the other buildings are down to look at these still standing, not renovated, to say, oh, let's tear those down as well. Why is progress measured in terms of bulldozers rather than renovation? Why is renovation considered to be against progress? Quite for thousands of people who once lived at Lockfield Gardens, they'll soon have only their memories of the project. Within four months, the wrecking ball will have completed its job, and then these symbols of what many people would prefer to ignore will be gone. This is Greg Todd for the News, Channel 6.